Welcome back, dear friends. As I promised last time, I talked about the Mendelian inheritance. Today, we're going to talk about the inheritance pattern of genetic disorder, including recessive dominant and X-linked disorder. Here's the outline of my presentation, where I'll go over the autosomal recessive, autosomal dominant, X-linked, Y-linked, and mitochondrial inheritance. Let's talk about the autosomal recessive and dominant inheritance pattern. When we talk about the autosomal, it's mainly associated with the somatic chromosomes. And in the case of recessive, let's say in the case of autosomal recessive, when the children are affected, they are only affected with the sorry, homozygosity. That means when both of the allele are mutated, then they show the disease pattern. And to be affected with the recessive type of disorder, both parents should be a carrier. And in the family, there can be a carrier who doesn't show any effect, or there is there, there can be a progeny which have no mutation in the gene. So in the case of autosomal recessive, both parents of an affected person are carriers, not typically seen in every generation because you can have multiple possibility. You can have this, 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 or this. And the example includes sickle cell anemia, cystic fibrosis, and phenylketonuria. In the case of autosomal dominant, since dominant for the dominant mutations or phenotype, you only need a copy of a gene, muted, muted, gene, muted genes to show the phenotype. Therefore, any of the parent can be affected and it can be homozygous or heterozygous. As you can see in this case, the father is affected and the mother have the wild type gene. And when they cross breed, they, what they find is they can have multiple outcome. Either child can be unaffected with unmuted allele crossover with each other, or unaffected boy, and it can be affected girl or affected boy, depending on the transmission of this mutation allele from the father to the boy or the girl. Therefore, each affected person has an affected parent, and it occurs in every generation, and the disease include Huntington disease, neurofibromatosis, achondroplasia, and familiar hypercholesteremia. Next, X-link recessive inheritance pattern and the X-link dominant inheritance pattern. As you know, in humans, there are two X in the female and X and Y in the male. Our appear of X is present in the female and the X and Y are present in the male. When there is Mutation in X chromosome, it can be of two different scenario. What will happen when father has a mutation in the X chromosome and what will happen when the mother has a mutation in the X chromosome? When the father has a mutation in the X chromosome, generally son are not affected because the Y genes, Y, sorry, Y chromosomes come from father and X comes from mother. So in that case, mother, son are unaffected. But since the father has only one X, the daughters are carrier. Sons are unaffected, they have, and the daughters are carrier. So that means when there is 
when there is mutation in the X chromosome and it is the father is affected, then you'll most likely have daughter as a carrier. And when the mother is carrier and the father is wild type or non-affected, then son will be affected because the X chromosome comes from mother and Y comes from father. Daughter can be a carrier or daughter can be unaffected and son can also be unaffected. And for X-linked dominant, if again, it has two scenario, if father is affected because of the only one copy of X chromosome and because of the dominant nature, the it will show the phenotype. Then when you have this combination, the son is unaffected because, but the daughters are affected because the X chromosome from father has a mutation or disease gene. And in the case of the dominant with mother being affected, son and daughters are both are affected uh, as well as there is a possibility that son and daughter are not affected. So for the X-linked recessive disorder, the example includes hemophilia, dyskinia muscular dystrophy, whereas for the example of X-linked dominant, the example includes hypophosphatemic rickets, ornithin transcarbamylase deficiency disorder. Y linked inheritance pattern, as you can, as you know, Y is the chromosome that is only present in the males. Therefore, if it is affected, generally the males are affected. And the, there, there are few Y linked chromosomal abnormalities and usually the deletion causes the infertility. That's why they are not propagated. And the, finally, the mitochondrial inheritance pattern where if there is a defective mitochondrial genes that can affect both males and females, but only can pass through females because Mitochondria is only present in the ova. And when the father is affected, it cannot be inherited to the progeny. The disease includes Levier hereditary optic neuropathy and Kieran's CERN syndrome. With that, I would like to get back to the question I had previously where I showed this, where the mother was a carrier and the children, one children was, a boy was affected and the one girl was carrier. Based on this, since the mother had a X chromosome and boy is affected, but the daughter is just a carrier, therefore it is a X-linked recessive disorder. In summary, I discussed in this video, the autosomal recessive, autosomal dominant, X-linked, Y-linked, and mitochondrial inheritance disorder. If you like this video, or if you wanna learn more about the genetic disorders, biochemistry, molecule biology, please subscribe to the channel or go on to www.medicalbiochemist.com for similar contents. Thank you. See you next time.